All right, so today we are looking at um, similarity. So as two uh, shapes are similar, if they, ha um, if they have the same corresponding angles or what they say is the corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So say, for example, what that means is, so if you had, if I had a square and then I have a bigger square, yeah, they are similar, um, they're similar um, objects or shapes because they've both got 90, all their angles are the, exactly the same because they've all got 90 and their side, and so we could say that they are similar shapes. We, um, what we can also say, so when they, so that's like all angles are equal. So another way we could tell that um, a shape is similar. So I'll do another example. Say I had, it doesn't have to be like, say I have a, like this house here, whatever. And then I have an enlarged version of this um, house shape or whatever. So say I said, all right, this bit, this was one, this length was one, and this length was, uh, I'm going to say three. Okay. And then if I said this side was two and this side is six. So can you see, this is what they mean when the sides are in the same ratio, because we've, we times um, this one by two and we got that two. So cause I times this other side by exactly the same number, which is two, I got six. That means they're they've been enlarged up by the same amount and that is therefore they're similar so that's what they mean when they say corresponding sides are um, the same in the same ratio now when you what you multiply say it doesn't matter if it's enlarged up or it can be reduced down by the same amount but what that amount that you're um, enlarging it by is known as the scale factor Okay, so, and they often use the letter K, okay, and they say linear, and what they mean by linear, just remember, that's really, it means the length, so the length um, uh, scale, scale factor, so when we were measuring the sides of the house, that's a length, okay, so we find um, the scale factor, so say that enlargement that number two we can find it by saying the length of the image over the length of the object so say I wanted I didn't know I didn't know what the scale factor was um, the way you can find it I always like to say um, the new object over the original it's just the same thing but I, I don't know I just like that if I write that word I know I um, I can get it right when they say like this was the new object or this is what it went to. So if you look at my example, say I said this was the original and this was my new object, what I do to see if it was, um, to find the K, if I said these were similar, I do the new object. So I pick one of the sides, I could pick this six and I'd go, all right, the new object's side was six and the original object's was three. So you can simplify six over three and you get two. So that's how um, we know that this is the scale factor. So two is the scale factor. All right. Now, if you were testing to see if um, that object up here was um, similar, meaning it is, you should do, when you do the same sides, it should equal the same number, which it does. So six over three equals two over one. So if you look at it, this is this is from the side of the house. This is the side measurements. And this is, I'll just call it the roof measurement. And because they, when you do the, them over each other, they equal the same number, that means they're similar. Okay, so we've got, we can find the, um, Obviously, we can work out the scale factor. It doesn't necessarily have to go big. You might be reducing it. So we might be downscaling, 
and that would be when you have um, the small over the big. So if we went the other way, the scale factor would have been a half because you're halving it. Or And then obviously if we're going up, it does that. So yeah, so this is going to be our formula to find the scale factor. And remember, this is only, this is a length, a length measurement. So just be, we only, when you talk about the scale factor, it's the length measurement. Okay, so two uh, shapes are similar. Um, the ratio between the two sides can be given. So sometimes they use this, they write the scale factor as a ratio. So say in this square um, example, instead of saying they've, they'll say it's gone from, it's a one to three, okay? But the scale factor is three. So if you think about it, because if we do our formula, scale factor equals new over original, we would have had, this is the new, three over one. So there we get the scale factor, sorry, you can't see that, um, the scale factor of three. All right, so let's just have a look at some other examples. So we can have um, many shapes that are similar. So here we would have, if we have two circles are similar because their angles are the same because they've both got 360. So that they could, they were similar. So say I was finding what the scale factor was from going from this shape to that shape, it will be four over three. Okay, that would be the scale factor. The original, the new image was four over three. So I do a length. That's how much it's enlarged by. All right, so then if you look at the two squares are similar. Now we know a square, if they told, because they told us it's a square, we know therefore know that they're all, the angles are the same and the length sides. So this is another one. And its scale factor would be the same if we were going this way to that way. So scale factor would be, you compare the same sides of the shape, so four over three. Now, be careful, a rectangle is maybe not, they may not be similar. And this is where I'm talking about um, here. The sides would have to be in the same ratio, meaning you'd get the same thing. So if you look, if I call this the new image and this the original, so this length, I've got eight over four, but that should equal this side over that side. It doesn't equal one over one, does it? So therefore, that does not equal. So these, these shapes are not similar. Okay, so that's what happened. If you look at this one, um, the next one, it is, because if I go eight over four, does that equal two over one? It does doesn't it? So this one is, they are similar. So just be careful. All the sides have to have gone up by the same amount. So you can, once you know that they are similar, obviously you can find out unknown sides. So here, you're going to have to be care. You look for in the question and you'll notice they'll tell you. So now that they've, they've told me that these triangles are similar. That means that when, like up here, when you do their sides in um, as a fraction like that, they should equal each other. So knowing that, I can set this up. So say here, I'll call this the new and this the original, okay? So I could say this side over that side, x over five needs to equal 12, over four, all right? So when you set this up, just make sure that these, when you look across this way, so when we look across this way, these have come from the same shape. So what do I mean by that? They are both um, pieces of information from the new object, yeah, the new shape. And if you look across here, this, this way is um, the original, they're both from the original shape. And then obviously when you look down that way, like looking down this way, they're the corresponding sides. 
so corresponding, sorry, can't spell, sides. Okay, so the X and the 5 are the slant bit of the triangle. So once you've got, I've made it a little bit, that a bit messy, but once you've got that set up, that fraction, so we would have set this up and we can say that that equals like that, you can simply just put solve in your calculator comma x and find it that way so you we're not testing your algebraic skills in this subject we are testing that you can set up that formula that's all we need you to do so just um, if you're not quick at doing rearranging just put it in the calculator exactly how you've set it up that's fine and do the solve okay sometimes I think just going with one method and doing it every time you'll find um, you go better. All right, so I get x equals 15 centimeters. So there, I found that one. All right, let's, okay. So with this question, they're asking us to do um, the scale factor and then find the values of the unknown. So with this first one, um, when I go to find the scale factor, we will need to have the, we we'll need to use a comparison of sides. So I will use, say this one, 250. So I'm going to call this the original and this the new. So they should have really told us which way it's going, but I'm just going to say that way. So the scale factor for this one would be uh, 200 centimeters. Oh, sorry. We're going to write the rule, so we, which is the new over the original. Sorry. So we're going to have 50 over 200, which is one quarter. So this one, it's reduced by a quarter. Okay, when, they, when we need to go find the unknown side, so say like, for example, we're going to find X here, we're going to use the corresponding side scenario so we're going to say we've got the 200 over 50 and we're going to say equals the x over um 70 okay and then we'll use solve comma x okay so what we're looking for is to make sure that these this way is coming from the same shape so that they're the same um this is the same shape so this is both those numbers are from the original shape and this 50 and 70 are from the new shape when you looking down this way you are looking that it's the corresponding sides so just to make sure that you are setting it up right um, and then you can find the corresponding side so we could set up the same, a similar, use the same 200 over 50 to find the Y. And I would say is Y over 50 because that's 50 as well. And we can use solve comma Y. And just let you, we won't go through that on the calc. We'll just let you work them out. But that's the setting it up. So here with this one, with the scale factor, we do need to make sure we're using the same units because otherwise we can't really say how it's shrunk properly. So I'm going to use a side we have both and we both have this. This is four meters. I'm going to change that to 400 centimeters so that I'll call this the original and this the new. So when I say I've got 20 centimeters over 400 centimeters, I can see that it is, um, we get 1 over 20th. So our new model of the rocket is 1 20th of the original rocket or whatever. Okay, so, and then we can use the corresponding sides. You don't need, when you do the corresponding sides, you don't have to change the units, just as long as you write what you're finding. So I could say the 4 metres over the 20 centimeters and it's going to equal and I'll use one of the ones I don't know which is 25 meters 
over x centimeters and when you solve that that will tell you what x is in centimeters because we're using both centimeters in the comparison all right and then you can do um, just a case you're wondering you use the you can use the same um, side to find the y so um, over there it was one meter over y centimeters and you can do solve again for that okay so with these we need to be able to see the similar shapes and the actual similar shape here is because of those parallel lines this shape is similar to this little one inside like that so often with these I like to draw them out separate and so that I can see the corresponding um, sides so this side along here is actually 10 because 8 plus 2 and I've got 8 centimeters and I've got 4 centimeters then my smaller similar shape the blue one I have 8 and I've got Y and I've got X so this way I can compare I can see all right I've got both of those so I can use set it up at 10 over 8 and then I'll use one of my find one of my known, unknowns so um, 8 over Y and we can use solve there and comma Y okay um, I could do the same use 10 over 8 and use um, 4 over x and solve for x okay so you guys can do that on your calculator with this one it doesn't matter that it's a um a they probably will tell us that it is similar and they probably need to tell you but then we can just do the comparison so look for something you've got both of which got both that distance so I'll say 21 over 7 and it can equal one of my unknowns so I might say 63 over x and we can solve and find x there and then we can still use that 21 over 7 and use find the y so in this case y is there um, on the big shape over 42 there we go solve comma y all right okay with these this question i just wanted to show you how you can get the similar triangles with um the, what happens is with the sun the sun shines down and it creates similar triangles so you often see this question so the person and the creates a shadow that creates your first little triangle here so they told us she's 168 centimeters and we know the shadow is 140 centimeters this shape this triangle is similar to the triangle with the, the tree so we've got this bigger one and we've got this is 14 meters and then we've got the tree which I think they ask you to find the tree height here so as long as you, we can use now we have got, got both sides corresponding sides so I can leave it in the centimeters and meters as long as you're aware that when we find that T it'll be in a meter answer <clears throat> because we've used that there so you can just pop in solve comma t and they they converted and or they found the scale factor and then times it but we can just use it like this and we get t equals 16.8 meters okay now the this next one because of these parallel lines here along here sorry um you set up it sets up similar triangles so what I'm going to show you is say we've got this little triangle in here. So if I draw that one, that one first, the little triangle, and say that's x, that's 3. 
it's similar to the big the overall triangle this overall one so if I drew that overall one we have <clears throat> um, 5.5 and we've got x plus 6 okay so why are they similar is like if you look they both have this angle here and when you have parallel lines remember corresponding angles are equal so those two angles are equal if those two angles are equal then the last one must be the same because they all have to add up to 180 so we can go about solving this the same way i'm going to say corresponding sides so i'll say three over 5.5 needs to equal x over x plus six and it doesn't matter that we have you know more than one x we can solve that and we get x to be 7.2 centimeters okay so with this um, example up here i'm going to show you how we have similar triangles when you have opposite angles like this they are equal <clears throat> and if you look there they've both got a right angle so if you have two angles that are already the same in a triangle it makes the third one would be the same size as well so what you can do is you can get two similar triangles out of this but you need to just be careful because this triangle is similar to say this triangle but we want to pop them in the same way to makes it easier so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the red one out again and I'm going to mark those <coughs> angles so that when I write the similar triangle so now I'm going to draw the smaller black triangle but I'm going to draw it in the same way as same direction as the red one so I'll draw the red uh, sorry the right angle I'll mark in that green angle and I'll mark in that purple angle so if I look between the the green and the purple is 1.26 so that means between the green and the purple along here is one point sorry 1.2x like I said six sorry and between the right angle and the purple dot so the right angle the purple dot is 18 so once I've got that set up I can do um, similar triangles so I can say 2x over 18 they're the same sides must equal 36 over 1.2x and you can then just do solve comma x okay so we found x to be 16.4 okay with this one we get a scenario where they're setting up similar triangles so they have the torch and it is 1.2 away from the wall and it makes a red circle with a radius of 8 so we can see we create the triangle they then move the torch back and it an extra two meters so this 1.2 becomes 3.2 meters and when you move a torch back it creates a bigger radius a bigger circle so there's our thing so we've got our two similar triangles here where we've got 1.2 and we can say is similar to this 3.2 so we can set up similar tri triangles I can say 1.2 over 3.2 needs to equal the eight centimeters over the radius in centimeters for <clears throat> um, for this um, circle okay so if we do solve comma R it will tell us what the radius I okay, say so I get the radius to be 21.3 um, centimeters of the bigger circle all right